Namaste. Let's come into a comfortable seated position. Settling the sitting bones. Having a nice long spine. And closing the eyes. Coming into this present moment. And opening our practice with the sound of OM bringing the palms together at the heart, inhaling deeply. And exhale all the way out. And inhale for the sound of OM. Uh, setting an intention for this practice today. And we'll begin our breath awareness with Nadi Shodhana and having a little hold at the top of your inhale and a little hold at the bottom of the exhale. So you can bring your right hand into Vishnu Mudra, just bending your first two fingers down and we'll be blocking off the right nostril with the thumb and blocking off the left nostril with the ring finger. So let's bring the thumb to gently close the right nostril and inhale smoothly through the left. Hold at the top. Switch, exhale right. And hold at the bottom. Inhale right. Gentle hold. Exhale left, gentle hold. Inhale left, pause. Exhale right, and pause. Inhale right, pause, exhale left, pause, inhale left, pause, Exhale right, pause, inhale right, pause, exhale left, and pause. And release the hand and inhale through both. And exhale. OK, 
Contracting the throat slightly so you can hear your breath. Inhaling and exhaling through both nostrils. As you inhale, filling belly, ribs, and chest. As you exhale, release from top to bottom, squeezing out the belly last. And let's add some movement with this, bringing the hands to the shins. As you inhale, filling up, extend your spine forward, shoulders glide back. As you exhale, rounding, flexing back and continue. And go a little faster. And slow it down again, nice and slow. One more. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, release your legs out long in front of you. Rolling out the ankles and the wrists. Flex the feet, reach the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, reaching the hands for the toes, ankles or shins and folding down. Let's rock a little bit side to side here. Keeping your ujjayi breath. On an inhale, just lift the gaze, lengthening the spine. On your exhale, bring the hands behind you, fingers facing towards the body and point the toes. Inhale, reach the heart up, maybe the hips even lift up off the ground. Again, you can rock it a little bit side to side. On an exhale, lower down and let's start over. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, gazing forward, lengthening your spine. Exhale, reach it back. Point the toes. Inhale, lift the heart or the hips as well. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, sweeping up. Heart leads forward as you fold. Inhale, gazing up. Exhale, preparing for reverse plank. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, lowering down. Inhale, take your hands under the knees. 
cat cow here, extending the spine forward on your inhale, exhale to round. The more flexibility and strength that we create in our spine, the more that that reflects throughout the whole body. On your next inhale, stay tall and lean back just enough where you feel your belly button engage and you can lift the feet up off the floor. This is really great for digestion. Keep those shoulders relaxing downward, gazing at your toes, spreading through the toes. Reach one foot up and switch. And reach both up. Trying to straighten those legs, squeeze the legs together, release the hands. And bring them back in. Stay balancing on your sitting bones and hold the outside edges of the feet. Lengthening up, balancing as you straighten the legs out to each side. Good, everyone. Keep lifting through the heart. Okay, keep your balance as you bend the knees, bring them back in and come into Yogi Toe Lock. First two fingers come together and they wrap around the big toe. Ready when it feels right, start to straighten those legs out to the side. Good, really open them up, lifting through the heart. <laughs> You're doing great. And on an inhale, bring them together. If you wanna try one more, try keeping the yogi toe lock, but keeping the legs together and lifting them up straight. It's okay if the knees are still bent. Beautiful. With control, bend the knees, let them down. Good job and come lying down onto your back. Let's take our favorite twist here. So lifting the right leg up, we'll just come right into it with the straight leg. Remember, uh, you can always use a strap instead if you prefer or keep the knee bent. And we're going to rock the leg side to side, okay? So your right leg is sticking up into the air and begin to rock it side to side. And let your head rock in the opposite direction of your foot. So as the foot goes to the right, you gaze left. Inhaling in one pose, exhaling in the other. Good, strengthening the belly here, the back. Pausing in the twist, reach those toes away from you and towards the floor. Reach your right arm in the opposite direction. 
Feel that lengthening on the diagonal. And draw the right knee into the chest and open it out to the side. If you want a little bit more, then hold the outside edge of that foot as if you're coming into half of a happy baby with the right leg. Beautiful, send your breath down into the groin, into the right hip. Let's give this right leg a kiss, drawing it in, try to press the lips against the knee or get them close. And extend this right leg away from you and down. Other side, hands are still in a T, lift the left leg up. Remember, you can always do this with the knee bent. Okay, start to rock it side to side. Inhaling in one direction, exhaling in the other. Let your head rock. Good, everyone. When you're ready, pausing in the twist, reaching those left toes away and reaching the left arm in the opposite direction. Deep Ujjayi breaths. And unwind, hugging that left knee in with the left hand, letting the knee open out to the side. You can stay here, or if you'd like to go deeper, hold the outside edge of the foot, coming into half of a happy baby with the left leg. Can you find space? in this left hip and groin with your breath. Maybe you find a sense of emotion. Maybe you find some stickiness or some clarity. Let's give this left leg a kiss. You can draw it in. and reach the toes away from you all the way down to the ground. Hugging both knees in and coming into your full happy baby. You can be in stillness with it or you can rock side to side. Okay, last one like this. Let your right foot come down a little bit like you're relaxing your right leg and the knee bends, but you can see I'm still holding on to it. And then try to straighten your left leg out to the side. 
There you go, yeah, and then switch. So your left knee bends a little bit more and your right foot reaches out to the side. Opening the inner line of the legs. Let's do one more on each side. Babies do this all the time. Good, when you finished, assist your knees to come together and just make little circles with them, holding on to them with the hands. The other way. Good. Now let's do a couple of yin postures today. So our first one that we can do involves taking a cushion or a folded blanket and putting it underneath the sacrum. So if, if you're using a blanket today, just fold the blanket up so that it's like a pillow. Or you can take a actual cushion or even two and place it. You can lift your hips up for bridge and place the pillow so that it's underneath your sacrum. And then lower your sacrum down onto the pillow or block if you're using a block and just make sure that you feel comfortable. You can keep the feet on the ground, or if you'd like more of an opening in the psoas, then you can actually extend the legs out long and rest here, just allowing this front of the body, front of the legs to get some extra space. So we'll be here for three minutes. And I'll chant you a mantra as you relax in this pose, you can even let go of the breath for this moment. One more minute, relaxing here. Another idea is to have one knee bent and the other leg resting out long. And eventually switch.
And bring your feet to the floor near each sitting bone. And inch your arms so that they're right by your sides. And on an inhale, slowly press into the feet to lift the hips up for bridge. You can take your prop out from under you and keep the hips high for a few breaths. On an exhale, lowering them down. If it would feel good on the low back, you can draw the knees in once more towards the chest. Let's roll over to one side. Coming into child's pose for three minutes, another yin pose. Feel free to put your socks on and you can also drape your blanket right over you here. For some of you, it might be nice to have a cushion either in between the knees, like under the heart or belly, or underneath the third eye point of the forehead. So it's just a couple options here. So this is one option. Another option is just to have the pillow a little farther forward or if your head doesn't touch the floor naturally, this can be comfortable. So just coming into any child's pose variation that would feel good. And this is really wonderful for calming the mind soothing our nervous system, the gentle breath. Maybe even connecting us with that inner child, that youth. Oh.
On an inhale, gently lifting the head. And bringing the arms underneath you and slowly coming out. You can take your pillow off to the side. And just circling out these hips. Another way. And maybe let them down into a cobra position. Good, glide those shoulders down a little bit, press into the hands, see if you can get a little bit taller. And exhale, sink it back. Let's tuck the toes and lift the hips up into a downward facing dog. Let's take one more inhale here. See if you can get a little bit longer through the spine. And on an exhale, lowering the knees down. And coming into lizard pose. So again, feel free to have the blanket over you. This one, we're on our belly. So let me show you first. The arms are like goal posts with the elbows bent on the floor. And then our left leg will stay straight, but our right knee will bend out to the side. And then you can choose with the head if you want to have the left ear down or the right ear down. Okay, so once you come in, allow your heart to connect with Mother Earth. Just feel the earth underneath your belly. We don't tend to spend a lot of time on our bellies. Let your arms relax. You're so Ginny, I see that you're you're like this, but instead, can you let your elbows come down to the ground? And you are, can you see my arms? Maybe you can't see my arms very well. They're like this on the ground. So my hands are on either side of my ears, probably a foot away from my head and my arms are resting on the ground. Good. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Oh, Shanti, Shanti. 
Shanti Shanti When you're ready, release your right leg out long. And take the other side by bending your left knee out to the side. Switch which ear is resting on the floor. Om Shanti. 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 And when you're ready, you can release this left leg. And take any movements or poses that would feel good for the next minute. Just let your body lead you.
and eventually making your way into Shavasana pose, laying on the back with the legs out long, arms resting by the sides with the palms facing up. Remember that this is one of the most important poses in yoga. And although it might seem like we're not doing much, there's actually a lot happening here. This is where we actually let go and surrender all the effort that we put into this practice and into life. Can you let go of control? Can you let go of wanting to have a say in how this moment is? And instead, just let it be. Sometimes this is more of an exercise for the mind. Surrender and let it be. I'll lead you through a little relaxation and then I'll let you rest in silence. Relaxing the tip of the tongue relaxes the mouth. Relaxing the mouth relaxes the throat. Relaxing the throat relaxes the heart. Relaxes the belly. Relaxes the hips. Relaxes the legs. Relaxes the feet. Relaxes the toes. Relaxes the tip of the tongue. Relaxing the tip of the tongue relaxes the mouth, relaxes the throat, relaxes the heart, relaxes the belly, relaxes the hips, relaxes the legs, Relaxes the feet. Relaxes the toes. Relaxes the tip of the tongue.
deepening my breath. Wiggling fingers and toes. And stretching the arms up over the head, getting long. And hugging the knees into the chest. You can use your right arm as a pillow as you roll over onto your right side, fetal position. That's if we're coming into a moment of rebirth into this day. And slowly press up to seated. Bringing the palms together at the heart, remembering the intentions you set. In yoga, we learn to set intentions, set goals, put in the effort, and then let go of the outcome. Let go of any expectations of when, how, where. Let's seal this practice with the sound of Om. Unity. Let's inhale together. Exhale all the way out. And inhale for Om. Uh, The light within me bows to the light within you, remembering that we're all light, all one. We say together, Namaste. Namaste. You can inhale the arms up and just charge your space with this energy. Great job today, everyone.